हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस स्टार्ट द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर सॉइल फॉर्मेशन फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द सॉइल सो व्हाट आर दोस फैक्टर्स व्हिच अफेक्ट द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द सॉइल लेट्स डू वन बाय वन ऑब्वियसली द फर्स्ट फैक्टर इज द पेरेंट मटेरियल Parent material is a passive control factor in soil formation. The color or the soil formation depends upon the texture, that is the size of it, or the structure of the soil as well as the minerals in it, chemicals etc. That's all depends on its parent rock. That from which parent rock it was made. Like here you can see, this is a parent rock. Whatever parent rock it is, this this the process is the process of the weathering and erosion. we see the making of sands and muds here slowly slowly it eroded and this is how it become change into a soil shell and the sand stone this become a sandy soil and this become a clay soil later because of the process of the erosion and weathering and this is how this parent rock change into a clay soil and a sandy soil where a uh, vegetation is developed so whatever the soil clay soil and the sandy soil made here that's all depends on the parent rock from which parent rock it is made so this is how what we see is the texture of the soil the size of the soil minerals the chemicals or we can say etc that's all depends on the parent rock that from which parent rock it is now let's come to the second one and this second one is the as you can see here topography so topography is like parent material topography like parent material is another important factor to control soil formation now here the influence of the topography is felt through the amount of the exposure of the surface covered by the parent material to sunlight and the amount of the surface and subsurface drainage over the over and through the parent material now now here you can see also that over a gentle slope where soil erosion is slow and percolation of water is good soil formation is very favorable as you can see here we see soil formation similarly here also in this part the soil over flat areas may develop a thick layer it's a flat so it's a thick layer also here we see a good soil is forming this uppermost the dark brown color is the major soil why if you see this steep slope area here the the soil is very less that because of the steep soil so this is how what we see the formation of soil is also effect on the topography of a particular area and this is how on that conditions the vegetation also develop in that area here the vegetation develop and here also vegetation agriculture can be done but in this steep soil area either the soil is made very less or not like here so topography itself a very important factor now let's come to the third important factor and that third factor is climate as you can see here in this picture now climate covered first thing is the precipitation that is the rainfall or snowfall and the next thing is the temperature so these both are the important factors which control soils development now here precipitation or the moisture is in terms of its intensity frequency and the duration of the precipitation evaporation and humidity on other hand the temperature is in terms of the seasonal and diurnal variations obviously this precipitation gives soil moisture contents which make the chemical and biological activities possible in the soil Access of water helps in the downwards, obviously. Transportations of the soil components means soil erosion. It helps in soil erosion also. 
so that depends that how much precipitation is getting by the soil too much precipitation is not good similarly we come to the temperature if the temperature is normal then it increasing it may depend on temperature that maybe it increase or reducing the chemical and biological activities if the temperature is too much then it is not possible that any kind of biological activities will happen and it create sheet erosion and soil erosion means this type of soil is made here so let's try to understand this diagram here the in this lower starting part the slope is very shallow while as we go for, forward this slope become very steep as you can see here the slope is straight steep steep so here we cannot form soil on the other hand here the slope is steep on this direction it is humidity also so we found on our right hand side vegetation so on our left hand side it's arid area so we cannot form too much vegetation so here we found soil or the rocky area but here though we found vegetation but because of too much vegetation soil we found landslides which destroy the soil also known as mud flow one more thing which we found in the arid region that the seed and the rill erosions happen in this, this slopy area it doesn't happen in a very steep soil area, uh, slopy area but uh, because of the less precipitation and a high temperature here the soil erosion is found and uh, obviously in this area sandy type of soil areas when the precipitation happen it create like these types of the gully gullies so we found the gully erosions happen in this area this is how climate also affect it is a climate because of that we found like this type of a as the green type of a forest maybe a pasture area maybe a deciduous type of a forest or a corn forest type of forest that's all depends on its that's all depends on the climate and which type of a climate is found in the area that type of a vegetation is found now let's come to the fourth one point this fourth one point is the biological activity biological activity is also one of the important factor in making of soil we, as you know the upper part of the soil is the humus then organic part now let's try to understand this thing with the help of this diagram here this is a fresh rock area this color while as we go upward we found little chemi chemical alterations change into a soil now this blue color line is the precipitation here the precipitation is very less while here the precipitation is high similarly the green shows the vegetation and this color shows the evaporation while this one is the temperature so let's see the different different types of the vegetation found on the earth if we see the different different vegetation found on the earth then obviously if the rainfall is too much and temperature is also high so we found a uh, high vegetation here so obviously if the vegetation is high then it helps for making soil more fertile so here we found fertile soils similarly here the evaporation is too much because of the high temperature but the rainfall is very less so this is how we found arid type of temperature because of that we found semi desert or desert type of soil here on the other hand here the temperature is very low and precipitation is found in the form of the snowfall because the temperature is too much low and up to co that climate uh, sorry temperature is also very low because of that it is not possible for the vegetation to grow and here also we found very less soil and less fertile soil even then we found vegetation here they are known as the coniferous or the tega type of vegetation as like as like we found it in the hilly areas so this is how somewhere the savannas type of the grasslands type of forests are also found because of this factor so as the vegetation is found means vegetation means flora and fauna found when these flora and fauna died they decomposed and this is how it make soil so as much vegetation is found as fertile soil we found there so biological activity is also important though the erosional activity is also important as we learn the biological activity is also important for it obviously now let us come to the fifth important factor of it and this fifth important factor is the time like this is earth this is equator here the vegetation is too much this is the equatorial area and this one is the polar area where we can't form soil so and vegetation so because here we found too much soil to here 
one inch of soil take hundred years to make to one thousand years in the polar area for making of only one inch soil. So time is time itself is a very important factor here. Uh, like these are this color is the parental uh, rock. Now here it's all the parental rock. Now from fifty to thousand years we see the upper layer came into a soil. Uh, we can see it a young soil also. Later the soil become much mature as the tan grows up, and this is how it become old when the tan grows. Up. So time itself is a very important factor. So this is how we done the important factors which affect the soil formation. Now this diagram is also important that different different types of soils are found. That's all depends on three things, and these three things are clay. This is in the here we found clay. This one is the sand percentage of sands, and here the percentage of silt. So. According to that, the texture of the soil is made. The texture, textural name of the soil can be determined from its the mechanical analysis, as you can see here. Now, what is a clay? First of all, clay is a very thin particles of the soils. It are from 0, 0, 0, 002 to 0, 0, 004 millimeter. On the other hand, cells are also very small particles of 004 to 006.006 mm on the other hand sands are much bigger particle than these and they are 0.062 to 2 mm so according to that we see different different types of soils were made according to that the mixture of all these soil these types of soils were made according to so this is how we complete our this part of the chapter that is the soil formation I hope the thing is clear in your mind if not then you can send your comment to me I will definitely reply you from my side thank you